For process mining, you need three things. A pipe is not one of them. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Today I want to talk about the XES standard. XES stands for Extensible Event Stream and is an XML standard for process logs or event logs. And these process logs are created by IT systems, by workflow management systems, for example, or are created from databases, from standard software systems. And these process logs are then fed into process mining tools. And in process mining tools, they can be analyzed. And for example, bottlenecks can be detected, process models can be discovered, and many other things. And the XCS standard is structured in the following way. If we have an XCS file, we always have the log at the root. So the log is the top element in the XML file. And the log consists of several traces. And traces correspond to workflow cases, for example. And then every case or every trace has events. And events can be things that happen on the timeline. And events are always at least classified by three attributes. The first attribute is the timestamp when the event has happened. The second attribute is the activity name. And the activity name corresponds, for example, to a task in the workflow specification. And we have the case ID. And the case ID is a number that is issued by the workflow management system and that uniquely identifies the case. So with these three information, we can do process mining, process discovery, and many other things. But there may be more information than that. We may have data there, we may have the resource who executed the work item, and so on and so forth. And furthermore, the XES standard has a kind of life cycle or status diagram for the work items and the different events that can occur for a certain work item. So, Usually it starts with the start um, state and then in the next uh, phase the work item can be assigned, um, it can be reserved for example and then eventually it is in progress and while it is in progress it can be suspended and it can also be finished, it can be successfully finished or it can fail or it can result in some kind of error. So there is a diagram that you can see here behind me that shows the different states that are there in the XES standard. And the XES standard allows us to create process logs that can then be analyzed by any process mining tool that's out there. Thank you for watching.